What is up, you guys? It's Bolty98, and in this video, we're going to be talking about so much Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 news. We even have in-game images. Let's hop right into this. So let's hop right into it, starting at our old video where we were talking about Modern Warfare 2 possibly just being Modern Warfare 3 again. That is not the case. Modern Warfare 3 will feature its own weapons and content set, but all Modern Warfare 2 operators and weapons will carry over. But Modern Warfare 3 will have its own base game like any other Call of Duty. Now we hop right over to our in-game images. Boom. We have three in-game images here. They're all from a trailer that I believe was campaign only. But as you see, they are very good. They look super clean and everything looks pretty cool. Um, we see that the last one was in a soccer arena or field and basically we believe that this means that Verdansk soccer stadium will be coming back in some sort of way maybe in the campaign maybe in warzone i don't we're not sure we just know that it could be coming back now staying with that modern warfare 3 theme we're going to talk about some other operators yes so cod modern warfare 2 and warzone don't miss the reveal these show on the right two operators that we don't see in modern warfare 2 one having a ghost face but obviously it's not ghost because ghost is on the left and then the one in the front obviously being our makarov which we made a video in the past about a guy doing a finishing move we found out that that was the makarov bundle it just doesn't have the face fully so it's not a mask it's just the face is not fully rendered yet and so it looked like it was wearing a mask it's not it's just simply the fact that the face wasn't rendered so we just kind of got confirmed that makarov will be a playable operator in the game and he might have different styles because this style didn't look the same as the style that we see in that red versus blue showdown uh, revealing the August 17th date for our reveal event. And, and zombies, we are going to be talking. We have not stopped talking. Apparently, a guy asked for some leaks on zombies. And the tweet's taken down now, but I did get the screenshot. The Dex guy said no. He is the head uh, guy with Treyarch and zombies. So, him responding to can I get some leaks on zombies, with, even with no, means that obviously zombies could be confirmed to be coming to Modern Warfare 3. Simply because if there are leaks to be given and he's not giving it, then there's leaks. He just doesn't want to give them out, meaning there's zombies. So looking now, we see another UI. Yes, I've brought multiple UIs to our uh, attention, I guess I would say, for Modern Warfare 3, and none have seemed to be a video. This one is a video of him scrolling through the UI. Very clean, very crisp. I think this is probably the best UI that I've seen in a minute. Like, it's very easy to use. It seems super cool. All your modes are right there. There's no quick play, then filters and stuff. No, you just go, you hit your mode, and that's it. I think they lose a lot whenever they try to make it look super... Um, they try to make it look simplistic, but then all you're doing is making it more bulky and harder to find things and really causing a headache for everyone on the menu side of things. Because even talking about the new menu that they just brought into Modern Warfare 2, it's still very bulky and yeah, it kind of helps alleviate some, you know, issues, but it still is just such a long process to like even go into team deathmatch, private match and stuff like that. Like they really just need to make the process simpler like they used to really just have a tab that slaps you in the face, say private match, click A, custom match, click A, um, public match, hit A. If you want to play team deathmatch or you want to select multiple modes you want to play just press y on those modes that you want to play press a on the one mode that you want to play and then that'd be it instead of like trying to make everything disappear where you're like a fortnite menu fortnite menu where they that's kind of what cod's doing they try to get you know your operators dancing around in the back or whatever um while you're able to pick your stuff and load into your game but it just doesn't work in my overall opinion however call of duty has done some leaking lately you know we saw the the trailer they've also now leaked a addition to their game basically this is one of the cover arts for the vault edition so that does mean there will be new ones the danger we face is clear and present mw3 vault edition cover art right there boom with the skull and the snake we've already showcased that on the channel before but we didn't know quite what it was for now we do it is the vault edition cover art which is super cool because once we get those cover arts we can now start to get into when they're going to show us multiplayer reveals um, and more trailers like that. Obviously, no reveal is going to come before August 17th when we actually see the in-game reveal on everything Warzone-wise and DMZ and stuff like that. But it's cool to kind of hope that we will see something uh, more closer to time than August 17th. Because August 17th is still seven days a week. So that's a whole week away of kind of just waiting and nitpicking and literally keeping everyone on their toes as far as I and other content creators who are trying to get these leaks out to you guys as soon as we can. Just making sure the leaks are actual leaks and not just, you know, here and there. But that is pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I do want to say thank you so much for all the support. We are 20 subscribers away from 600. And it's crazy because we just hit... Uh, 
500 in uh, August. So I'm super excited about that. Hopefully we can get 600 very, very soon. Like I said, my in-year goal is 1,000. So thank you guys so much for helping out with that. Uh, the content will not stop. We definitely have more to keep coming. Um, I was surprised that I'm not seeing the Pro Pack in stores right now. So if you're on console, let me know down below if that er error is happening with you as well. Because when I'm in the content creation screen or... Not content creation, the store screen, sorry. Um, when I'm in the store screen, I go down and I've already bought all the Pro Packs, but I still don't see the Ghost Slinger one. So I'm not sure if it's just delayed right now or if it's just not out on console. If someone else can see it on a PC or something, just give me a heads up. That'd be nice. Um, but thank you again, guys, so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope it's staying fresh for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.